we're gonna make a one page comic today. Sound good? Does that sound exciting for you guys? Give me a thumbs up if it does. Okay, so do you guys remember that there's three main parts to every story? There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. So we are, in the beginning, we introduce the characters in place and we're hinting to the problem. So after we have the problem, what do we do in the middle? So we build on the emotion that's being used in the theme of the story. What else do we do in the, in the middle? We are uh, playing on the emotions in, in the middle, but what do we do with the problem in the middle? You escalate the problem. So we escalate the problem by making it worse, by playing on the emotions. And then last question, what do we do at the end, guys? We solve the problem. And then sometimes, especially in comics, sometimes the problem is a joke. So sometimes it's the, it's the punchline or the reveal. Okay? So sometimes you just finish the joke. So this is basically the, the seven elements of story, right? So we went through, establish the character. We want to hook the audience. So grab their attention, define the problem. So that's all in the beginning. And the inciting incidents is like that thing that starts, starts the story. And then we escalate the problem. And then we have a peak and resolution at the ending, which is we resolve the problem and we have a funny ending or some kind of happy ending. So let's look at Peanuts. So this is Peanuts featuring Gildo Charlie Brown. And you can see um, uh, the little bird there. He's like wondering what's going on. And Charlie Brown brings a bowl of food for Snoopy. And Woodstock goes, <laughs> Snoopy goes, Ugh. And Snoopy thinks, why do some people think it's funny to talk about worms while you're trying to eat spaghetti? So let's look at the story. So we establish the characters in the first three frames. There's Woodstock and we look at the problem. So here's, here's the problem. He's like, ah, what's happening? And then we show that Charlie Brown is bringing the bowl of food to Snoopy. And so the problem is that Woodstock thinks it's worms and he's saying, you can't eat worms, they're people. And this is sort of funny because we can't actually see what he's saying. And then Snoopy says, fine, I won't eat it. And then Woodstock is happy. And then Snoopy says, why do people think it's funny to talk about worms when you're trying to eat spaghetti? So that's the completion of the joke, or we solve the problem, which is Woodstock's problem is that he didn't want Snoopy to eat the worms. So this is like a one page comic. All right, so let's look at Garfield. Garfield is one of my favorite comics. I used to love reading Garfield all the time. So this is actually on Garfield.com. If you guys want to look at more comics, you can go there. And so let's establish the characters. It says, good news, Odie. And notice that good news, Odie, is off screen. We don't even know who's, who's saying that. And this is your hook, right? So we're wondering, what is the good news? I want to know what the good news is. And then Garfield says, I found your missing bone. Oh, he's all happy. Ha ha ha. But then Garfield said, but I lost it again. And Odie's like, oh no. And then Garfield says, but I found it again. And Odie's like, yay. And then he says, then it ran away and joined the circus. And he goes, <gasps> but then I got homesick, but it got homesick and came back. And Odie's like, yeah. And John threw it away. Oh no. And there's John. So that's the completion of the joke. So how do we establish the characters in the beginning? So let's look at the beginning. So the, the problem is Odie's missing his bone, right? And the hook is, good news, I found your bone. So that's the middle. So notice in comics, the middle can be done very fast, just one or two frames. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys two, two comics. So this was, this was the setup right here. And the hook right here is just one frame. It's just the question mark. And the hook in this one is on the first frame too. Good news. What is the good news? And then here's the problem. I found your missing bone. Okay. So that's the very beginning. Okay. All right. So here's the middle, but I lost it again. So middle questions you want to ask yourself when you're making it, what happens next? How does the problem get worse? And what changes happen? So we escalated the story by playing with Odie's emotions. He, you know, we basically just joke around with him. And so usually in the middle, 
for a one page comic, you want to spend maybe about four to six panels. And then at the end, we solve the problem or we end the joke. So this is this is a joke. And then we want to make a funny feeling at the end if it's a comic. Or you, know, you can have a happy ending or sad ending, whatever kind of ending you want. Okay, so time for the exercise. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to start planning out your one page comic in these four steps. And what we're going to do together today is we're going to first do an exercise of writing a story idea. So you're going to come up with a story idea for five minutes, and then we're going to draw those pictures. Okay. But the four steps I want you guys to go through is first, let's come up with a story idea. We're going to draw the pictures and then at home, you can write the words and draw the images and draw the frames. And then you'll have your one page comic. Okay. And you can start brainstorming a story idea. So some ways to brainstorm that we used last week was the post-it exercise. You can take post-its and, and um, put some different words together. You can also story map. So if you have an idea, you can map it out just in words, or you can start writing a journal. So spend this five minutes doing one of these activities, okay? So in the beginning, you wanna draw the characters in place and you wanna draw the problem, okay? And some beginning questions for you is, who are the characters, where do they live, what's the problem? And now in the middle, you wanna say, draw what happens next. You wanna draw, how does the problem get worse? How do we change things? And what choices do the characters make, right? And then at the end, we wanna show how we solve the problem and how do we feel? And if the character made the decision to affect that problem. Okay, so the next five minutes, I want you guys to start drawing some pictures. So you can draw the characters, you can draw the place, you can draw expressions. I want you to just draw a bunch. And so you can draw these on copy paper or index cards or post-its. If you draw them on index cards or post-its, you can move them around later. So that's gonna be a tip, okay? So you get, I'll give you guys five minutes and then we're gonna go over the homework. Okay, so today together we went through story structure again. That's the hardest part. So you, you should know that in the first two images for your one page comic, you wanna do the beginning, the hook, right? And the problem for two or three panels. So this, this is the first two panels. The middle panel should be about four to six panels. And then the end, you can have one to four panels. Sometimes you can just have one, but you put that all together and you'll have a one page comic. You notice here there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight panels there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight panels here. So in all, you should have maybe about eight to 10, maybe 11 or 12, but not that many pictures. You can tell a very short story in your one page comic. Okay, so your four steps. First, let's come up with a story idea. Next, you wanna draw the pictures. And then after you draw the pictures, I want you to think about what are the words that you might need? Sometimes you don't need any words at all. Like there's not many words in this comic. There's just one word, there's just a few words at the end. So you wanna think about that after you've drawn your pictures. And then when you draw your pictures, actually let me put this down. I want you to look at your pictures and you can put them in order, okay? And then you draw them in frames after that. And then after you do that, um, you will have your one page comic. And so your homework for today is to plan your comic on post-it notes, follow the four steps that we did here, to so write the story, draw the pictures, write the words, and then put your images and stories into frames and finish your comic, okay? And then you'll be able to post what you have on Facebook and Instagram. Now, if you like that video, make sure you hit the like button to help us grow the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button to make sure that you get notified for future videos. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.